Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and in this Angular Bridge tutorial, we will learn that how we can call an API. So might be you have a question, what is the API and why we have to call it in the Angular? But don't worry, we will cover all kinds of questions and we will see an example with the API, right? And I will tell you that how you can get a free API also so that you don't need to make it. Yeah, so these are the points of the video. First of all, we will see what is the API and this is a theoretical question. Then uh, we will make a service and with the service, we will fetch the data from API. We will import it in the component and get the data in the component. That's all. So the question is, what is the API? The full form of API is application programming interface. As we know, JavaScript, Angular and uh, React kind of things cannot connect directly with the database. So we need an interface that uh, help us to connect with the database. So we will basically use the service server side languages like Node, PHP, Python, and Java to make an API. And these APIs are provide the data from database to our front end, which is Angular or React or basically uh, all libraries and framework of JavaScript, right? So how it look like? So here you can see that this is an example. This is the free API. We will use it and the link of this API is given in the description box. You can get it from the here also. And here you can see that we have the JSON kind of data and we will just uh, use this data inside the JavaScript or uh, we can use it in the Angular, any kind of framework which is related to the JavaScript. So now let's see that how we can get this data in the Angular. So first of all, let's just come on the command line, clear it and make a service. So just write here, ng g service and service name. Let's say my service name is users and hit the enter. Then you can see that we have the two files, which is the spec.ts, which is not much more useful for a moment because we, here we just write the unit test cases for the API and service.ts file, which is directly related to the API. When we, uh, when we are just want to get the data from the database, we have to import the two things. One in the app.module.ts, here we have to import the HTTP module, which is the hypertext transfer protocol module, right? So just write here, import something from it Angular and Angular common and then HTTP and just write here uh, HTTP module and register it inside the imports. So we can close this file because we have just done with it. And after that, let's directly go to the users.service.ts and we have to import it HTTP client. Just import something and just write here angular common and just write here HTTP and import here HTTP client. And let's make an instance of this HTTP client inside the constructor. Let's take access modifier private, put any name like uh, uh, HTTP and all. And let's uh, just make it injectable. Now let's make a function. Let's say get data uh, like this. And now here we have to just get the URL first of all. So this is our URL and let's take a variable or literal like let URL and let's paste the URL inside it, right? Uh, just choose like this. We don't need a colon. And now just write here return this dot HTTP dot get and get have a parameter which is URL and then we can just uh, simply put a semicolon here that's all right so now we are able to fetch the data here but we cannot see it until we are just using it in the component so just go to the app.component.ts file and import this service so just write here import something from and just rise here right here user service like this right and uh, here what we can do just simply write here 
user service and let's make it injectable define constructor take access modifier and let's say my access modifier is users and this is a instance of user services right and inside the constructor let's just console dot warn uh, this or oh, we don't need to just make it console right just simply write here this dot user dot get data and this is function dot subscriber and subscriber have a parameter and we can use an arrow function here like data yep and let's make a console now console dot warn and show here data now you will see that we got the old data in this api we have around 200 users data right here you can see that until 200 and here you will see that we got the data of all of the users which is 200 0 to 9 and again 100 to 199 right so that's all the data we just got it here and in the next video we will see that how we can plot it on the html uh, template and uh, after that i will also add a pagination here because this is not a good way to show the 200 users data on a single page so we will show a 10 or 20 data per pages and uh, we will just make a pagination so that we can just go downward and forward right so thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe my channel and please like this video if you have any kind of query you can ask me in the comment box and take care